for years now, you have asked Cracklord to finally play Crusader Kings 2. He's been working hard to become the best CK2 player on Earth. Actually, not really. I don't really know what the hell's going on here, but I'm able to understand the basics, and it's an AI-only battle. It's... it should be okay. At least I really hope so, but um, I'm sure a lot of advanced players out there are going to have a great time laughing at me. Now we're playing with the Shattered World mod, which is basically the same thing as Shattered Europa from Europa Universalis 4. Basically, instead of having bigger countries, we have every single county divided up into just the counts. Which means just about anybody from anywhere has an opportunity of, uh, of ruling the world. Now I do want to mention for some of those, uh, some of those noobs out there that aren't used to CK2, that this game isn't necessarily all about war. You can end up taking a lot of land completely peacefully, just through diplomacy. And you could also lose a lot of land just because if the wrong person dies, you could, you know, lose a big chunk of territory. But just like in any Paradox AI-only games, the only thing we care about is thick font sizes. T-H-I-C. C. I'm gonna get a lot of the terms wrong in this playthrough, uh, just know that I am pretty dumb, so just give me a chance here. Alright, so I always pick some sort of lame-ass choice in every AI-only battle. I'm gonna guess Corsica. I'm gonna say this man from, uh, the county of Corsica is going to win the entire game. Godfrey of Corsica, please don't embarrass me too much. His numbers already suck ass, uh, this was probably a horrible guess. So we've started off in the year 769, and, uh, we're gonna try to progress quite a bit here. Two things, the Mongol invasion and I think it's the Crusades, basically the Crusades are at random, so they can happen at any point in this campaign. Also, I do realize that I need to focus a little bit more on characters and who's leading, uh, certain territories. That's gonna be really hard in the very beginning here because there are so many f***ing people in this map right now. Ooh, look at that, Godfrey already has himself a nice wife. Uh, she kind of a little similar to Gollum there, but I'm not gonna judge you by your tastes. And just for anybody curious, I don't think this information matters at all to us viewing as an AI-only battle, but uh, here are the du jour, du jour empires. Du jour. Alright, I've gotta learn a lot of new words. Oh, the big man from Burgos. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, he's dealing with some rebels. Alright, I don't think this matters much. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, it's because he's an incompetent ruler. I see. I guess we should have guessed that. Oh my god, for a second there, I thought that said something else. I read that as C-U-N-T. I was gonna say, geez, that's, that's a little vulgar, don't you think? We already have some pretty big wars taking place in Scandinavia. Uh, that did not take long for these guys to eat up this much land. Oh, I like this name, Horda Land. Horda Land. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're also pretty powerful up here in the north. Tartan, led by, uh, by Anal, is also doing pretty good here. All right, Godfrey of Corsica is about to die any second now. Um, I think his heir is, yeah, is only 12 years old, but I'm, I'm sure Gollum will be able to take care of it for them. Obviously in CK2, uh, you know, religion isn't that big of a deal, so we probably won't look at it that much. JK, we'll probably look at this a lot in the series, just, just saying. Oh, snap! Look at, what, what the hell? Where'd you guys come from? Oh my god, what happened to Anal? Oh, okay, he's still here. He's chilling. He's just not the, he's just not the king anymore. Look at Serbia here! Usually in my test campaigns, it's Bulgaria that ends up doing good in this region. Also, I'm just going to call this region, this region. I'm, I'm going to stop calling it the Balkan region because I always feel like it's, I, I kind of f***ed up and people get really pissed off when I call a country Balkan that's not Balkan. All right, you guys are going to need to choose a damn name. You can't keep changing your name like this. You're going to confuse the shit out of me. But of course, this is the most important region of the map. I can't believe I haven't showed it off just yet. Everyone else is just peasants compared to these two counties or provinces. I don't know what you're supposed to call them. Which two men will finally unite the greatest island of all? Oh man, Hordaland just became Nordland. Fuck. I mean, that's pretty cool too, but... But Hordaland, now just Nordland. I don't know why I think that's funny, it's kind of funny to me. Count Godfrey, you are an embarrassment. Not, not just because of that face, but because Sardinia has formed. Sardinia has formed from, uh, Alfonsina. Alfonsina of Sardinia. Cool. Oh, and look at that, she's married to a 10 year old. Oh man, I already fucking love this game. Leon, Leon is basically the strongest, I think out of Iberia at the moment. We'll see if Mr. Alfonso here can hold on to all this land. I, I do think that this game tends to just have everything fall apart for some empires though, sometimes. Serbia, what are you doing with your font? Also, wait, that's Serbia. What, who, who the fuck is this? Oh, Serbia is having some, uh, revolt issues, I guess you could say. Oh, damn, yeah, the Serbian revolt is, uh, pretty powerful. Thank you for sticking to one name, Guz. I really, I really appreciate that, and I think I can pronounce it Guz. Saxony, kind of growing out of northern Germany, or the Netherlands, one or the other, led by Herman, who is apparently a lunatic. 
who's attraction opinion negative 10, but he still has himself a wife, so he got- they got over it. They got over the fact that he's insane. Guz, are you serious? Did you really have to do that? I am not gonna be able to pronounce any of these other names, uh, in this- in this window. Now you're called Finmark. I really- I actually really like all three names that this region has come up with. I- I hope they keep going. I mean, it's not as great as Danish Greenmark, but one day, one day they might come up with a name like that. And Leon has formed Castile. Oh damn, Western Europe better get ready. Alfonso is still leading them. Um, apparently he's a homosexual. I really, really like this game so far. Oh, he's depressed too. Oh my god, those two things go hand in hand. His wife must be so sad. My apologies for ignoring the British Isles, but uh, nothing has been happening. I mean, up until now, Mercia, I really hope that's pronounced Mer Mercia, has uh, started to form in England. And we have some smaller kingdoms kind of forming in Scotland and Ireland. Serbia has uh, once again come back. I guess the revolt is, oh, oh god, no. Oh, right in front of my face. Oh, that's a different revolt. Oh, no, that's the same revolt. This, I mean, it's a different revolt, but it's still from Serbia. Saxony is now spread to Normandy. Uh, and I think they're just at war. Oh, yes, but it's not much of a threat at all. Herman the Lunatic is, uh, still going strong, although he- he looks like he's gonna die any second now. He was a good, uh, grand strategist, I guess. Brilliant strategist. I'm assuming a lot of his land was taken through- Oh, well, it's hard to say, but, uh, you know, some of it for sure was taken through war. And lucky for him, his son is also a brilliant strategist. I'm- I'm assuming that's probably a trade thing that goes down the family tree. We've got some new arrivals here in, uh, this region. Bulgaria did once again come. I'm not surprised about that. And the Pex, south of Hungary, as well as Athens is formed in Greece. All right, that's kind of cool. I don't know what the hell's going on with Ali. How is Ali able to do this? Who are you led by? Muhammad? Anyways, I'm sure there's somebody in the comment section that can let me know how Ali is, is doing this. Wow. R.I.P. Finmark. R.I.P. We have a Castilian revolt taking place. The revolt is uh, actually from Alfonso's grandson who has some issues. Unfortunately for him, he's, uh, craven, slothful, and, uh, gluttonous. Not too good of traits, I don't think. Yeah, I think Iberia is gonna be a pretty interesting region in this series. Oh boy, here comes Ireland. We might see a very similar thing that happened in a previous Paradox AI only. Ireland has taken over Scotland. And holy snap, who is this? Averila. Averila? Oh, and they just broke apart. They just, uh, <laughs> and Serbia's back. Hello, Serbia. We obviously still have a lot of time to go over. This seems to be kind of the bigger nation that just formed up in Persia, but I don't know how long they're going to last, especially with, uh, you know, that whole little Mongol invasion that will eventually take place. Mercia still seems to be the uh, dominant kingdom in England, uh, but Kent is here also still doing okay. Obviously, Ireland, though, is taking the cake. Oh, damn. Who is this man? It's King... Damn, I don't know how to pronounce your name. But he's basically at war with uh, most of the British Isles right now. Holy shit, not just the British Isles, but a lot of Central Europe. Oh, this is a good map mode that I should have checked on definitely before. The Dynasty map mode. Okay, duly noted. I will check on that uh, more. Castile now moving into Morocco lands. Oh, that's a ballsy move. I, I don't think that's going to pay off for them, Cotton. Uh, but they're spreading Catholicism down towards the south. Uh, I don't think that's... That's not normal, is it? I wanted to check in on Corsica because uh, they've been a pretty big disappointment in this video, but I was looking at this dude's family tree, look at this! Almost his entire generation was wiped out by smallpox. That's really depressing. Oh wow, and in that very brief moment of time, there's already a new king. All right, so, uh, you, you are not doing so good for me, Corsica. I mean, I really don't know what I expected. They're at war though, maybe there's a chance, I don't know. We also have some very familiar faces coming out of Central Europe. Lombardy, Germany, uh, Brabant, Bur Bourbon, Bourbon in France, and oh, look at Pomerania. They just shanked Sweden right down the middle. Yeah, you know, let's take a look at these guys. King Casper, the hunter of Pomerania. He mostly has just positive traits. He's like this hunter gone rogue that just got into politics or something. Oh my God, the greatest rivalry will take place. Who wins between Finnmark and Hordaland? Oh snap, I don't want to be in the middle of these two fighting. I haven't checked on Byzantium at all. Um, because there really isn't anything happening here. Yeah, no, I don't see anything impressive at all, guys. What's going on? Damn, Barcelona, you need to slow down, dude! You are at war with way too many nations, and you don't have very many friends. You have one. Yeah, I don't care how ambitious you are, dude. You, you did a pretty stupid move, I think. But then again, what the hell do I know? I don't even know how to play this game. I'm definitely starting to notice a theme. Some of these countries don't last very long. They get big and they very quickly fall apart. Look, Ireland is already gone, but that's actually a really good thing for these AI-only battles. We get to have quick storylines and things like that. I'm definitely enjoying this. Uh, and here's one final look at the map. 
I'm really hoping I kept the uh, cringe moments for some of the actual CK2 players out there down to a minimum, but I seriously, I seriously doubt that. I mean, even if I know the game, there's going to be lots of cringe moments. But uh, nonetheless, we'll see what we do with the series. I, it might be kind of a shorter one as my knowledge increases, hopefully, uh, in the game. And, and I understand how to do these AI-only battles a little bit more in CK2 because I know it's kind of a different sort of pace to other Paradox games. But uh, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a long time coming. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.